Okay, and if we go ahead and look at our graph again, do 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 do, right? That's a horrible tower. So remember, we said we started out um, <clears throat> at zero comma four hundred, right? T was zero, and then H was your height, right? Or H of T, sorry. So that's 400 feet and T was zero. And then what we found out is we set H of T equal to zero and solve for T, and we said this now point is five comma zero. Right? So if I want to find the average velocity, guys, I'm not looking for instantaneous velocity. I'm just looking for what is the slope really of that line? So average velocity is just going to be the change in, um, it's just going to be the change in our height. So we're just going to say h of 0 minus, oh, I'm sorry, h of 5 minus h of 0 all over 5 minus 0. Change in the distance over the change in time. And that's going to be our velocity. So h of 5 is going to be 0 minus 400 all over 5 minus 0, which is negative 400 minus 5, which is going to be negative 80 feet per second. Does that mean the velocity is the exact same throughout the whole falling? No. Because guys, isn't the velocity going really, really slow right here? Right? It's not falling very fast. Then it starts to speed up, right? Before it got to, well, what do we say? It was negative 140 at the end, right? Was that what it was? Or negative 160? So it's slowly, but it's increasing speed, right? The speed is increasing because it keeps on falling and falling. So the average is going to be negative 180, OK? Um, why don't you guys go ahead and see if you guys can find the average acceleration?